That's, that's, that's what we're trying to do here. So we're, we're running the listening campaign. The listening campaign is we want to give Winnipeggers a chance to say, in my life, this is what affects me. This is what matters. This is what we need to do about it. And, and, and engage with it, engage with it really deeply and say, yeah, you know, so-and-so might say, oh, we need to fix crime and we need to fix housing and things like this. Um, but rather than just kind of a, a blanket statement, we need to fix this, and, and, and stepping into the illusion that, that um, in, in two months, somebody's gonna pass this certain magical bill that's gonna change everything. Um, instead of pretending something like that was gonna happen, let's get down to the real work and let's say, hey, from the long-term perspective, where our community needs to dig in and figure out what we're doing and, and, and not get, get trapped up in all of this, this popularity contest that politics has become. How can we produce real change? And, and the Pirate Party is aiming to, to really put a new, what well, we say put a new user interface on government. Yeah. We want to change it from that old clunky computer to a new, fast, um, super sleek device that you pick up and you move with your finger and everything happens the way you want it to. That's, that's the, the perspective that we want to provide. So um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to, to sit down with each of you and, I, and, and just ask you that question. Say, what affects you in your life? What matters? What do we need to focus on? I want to collect that information. However you're, a bit, however you're comfortable giving that, I'll come up on YouTube um, just to, to get the conversation going so somebody can post a reply and say, hey, you know, I experienced that same thing. Because, you know, the, the wealth of a person's experience is, is so much bigger than just your vote on election day. Your vote on election day is important. But if you want to make that vote matter, you need to put your, your whole lifetime of everything that you've lived through and everything that you understand behind that. Because you have, you have a wealth of experience that we need to draw on together. And um, for me, that's one of the insights of the information age. When you build the internet and you have all these people connected together, you can build incredible things like Wikipedia, the world's biggest online encyclopedia that's built all from people's individual knowledge in their spare time. Um, you, you can apply those same principles to democracy. You can apply those same principles to government, and, and that's what we're aiming to do. So, however you can do that, and then also, um, like we don't we don't have a huge budget. We don't have you know sixty five thousand dollars to put giant billboards up everywhere. We're we're counting on people to go up to their friends, go up to their neighbors, and say, decide who you're going to vote for on your own time. That's fine, but no matter who you're going to vote for, participate in the listening campaign. Say what's important so that we can we can hear from everybody. If we don't hear from everybody picture of what Winnipeggers care about. We're only going to get the, the picture of people who have had the chance to speak up. So we want to hear from as many people as possible. And we're going to collect that information together. And then outside of this, this core information expertise that the Pirate Party has, the social issues, the, the issues to do with housing, to do with these really things, we're going to look directly to our voters and we're going to say, you live this life. We know in our community what we need to do. We know what we need to address. We don't have to have some big campaign that we're going to sell and try to try and force down everybody's throat. Because we all we need to do is identify what the issues are in community in our community, and we can we can move from that to real change. And it'll be long lasting change because it'll be produced by the community. It won't be produced by someone who's going to be in, in power for two months or something like that. Um, so that that's what we're really getting getting at here. We want to create a conversation around democracy. We want to get people engaged and plugged in, and able to really impact what's what's happening. And I, I'd love to, to invite you all to participate in that, however you can, and especially to you know to phone up a friend and say, hey, have you heard about this? You know, this this guy is is running his whole campaign on a budget of somewhere around a hundred bucks, <laughs> <laughs> but. He's already reached thousands of people, and he wants to reach everybody. And these, these opinions that are collected together, it doesn't matter, I'm going to stress this again, it doesn't matter who you're going to vote for. Of course, I, I think, I think you, you should vote for, for the Pirate Party because I believe in the party, and I believe that I can bring real change. Um, but even if you decided that, that for other reasons you're going to vote for a different party, participate and be heard, because we're going to take that together, and whoever is elected on November 29th, um, next Monday, whether it's me, whether it's someone else, they are going to take that information with them, and we're we're going to speak up about it because the political process does not end on election day. The political process starts on election day, and and we're looking forward into that, and we're saying, hey, let's get a, a bigger, more diverse picture, and and let's let's shape the the way our community and the way our country is going to go for the long term, and then it won't matter so much which particular person gets gets into power for for a couple months. You know, we can figure out, we can identify who in our community are the leaders 
who, who are best able to, to implement the things that the community needs. But we're going to have a vision. We're going to have a shared vision together that knows where we're going. And because we know that, then the political process is going to be a, a treat. It's going to be a, a pleasurable opportunity instead of the, the very annoying and immature process that, it, that it's been. So thanks for, for letting me come out here and speak to you. I want to give you some information. I want to answer your questions. Um, and I want to hear what, what affects you in your life, what you care about, what we need to engage in this process. And I want to make that the issue that we focus on. So thank you. Thank you.